Hi, you're here sewing with Cody and Pete. And in today's video, we are going to do the first segment of the Bernina 5 series brochure overview. Except this series is just going to be based on just the Bernina 535. And that's because the Bernina 5 series does consist of four different machines, but the Bernina 570 and the 590 are so different from the Bernina 535, I decided to do a brochure or we decide to do a brochure overview of just the Bernina 435. And as we've done in previous brochure overviews, we're gonna break it up just like Bernina bro broke up the information on the back of the brochure, starting with general information. So this is the Bernina 535. This is the first machine in the Bernina 5 series lineup that is a sewing machine. So the first thing as we go down the list is the Bernina hook system. So just like the Bernina 4 series and 7 series, this Bernina has the Bernina hook system, the Bernina B9 hook. So that's that nice big jumbo bobbin. So that allows us then to stitch at 1,000 stitches per minute on the Bernina 535. The next thing is the size of our throat. So the Bernina 535 has a eight and a half inch throat from the needle to the back of the throat here. So you have eight and a half inches. The next thing is our color touchscreen, which is a 4.3 inch touchscreen. And then as for lighting, all of the Bernina 5 series machines, with the exception of the 590, have 12 LED lights. So you have LED lights around the foot and you have LED lights underneath the throat of the machine and that's 12. They all have multifunctional job knobs as we saw on the Brina 4 series. But one of the biggest things about the Brina 535, there are many things that s separate the 535 from the 570 and the 590. And we won't try and compare the, the 535 to those machines too much, but we will point out those very, very important details. And one of them is the Brina 535 is a five and a half millimeter stitch width machine. As a quilter, as a piecer, that's something we really, that we really enjoy because our feed dogs and our feet are much closer together to get those smaller pieces fed through the machine. This is actually the largest Bernina sold in the States that has a five and a half millimeter stitch width. There is a seven series that at one point was special order only through Bernina of America that was a five and a half millimeter machine. The maximum stitch length, and you'll see this from this point on, is six millimeters. So that's the maximum stitch length you can make your stitch is six millimeters long without it having to skip a stitch. You've got 11 needle positions, which all of the Berninas pretty much have at this point sewing in every needle position. We've seen this in previous models. So you can select any stitch and move it wherever you want and you can sew. Number of spool holders, still two. So you have your horizontal and your vertical, which telescopes down from the machine, just like the four series. You have the semi-automatic needle threader. All of our Berninas have that. Now here are a few things that this machine doesn't have that we see on the other machines the automatic presser foot up and down, and the automatic presser foot lift. So one thing that the 535 does, there's two things actually that the 535 does not have, and that is the automatic presser foot lift and the automatic presser foot pressure. Those are manual adjustments. So on the side, there's a wheel that we can adjust our pressure foot pressure. It's the amount of pressure our foot applies to our fabric. And we have to manually raise and lower the foot. On the models above this, it's all automatic. But it does have a automatic thread cutter. So that's something that's really nice. And we see this in all of our, in our 475 and our 480. So I have a press of button. It cuts your top and bottom thread. Something this machine also doesn't have is the hover. So that's where our needle can drop down and the foot will pop up automatically and we can move. And that's because we have a manual uh, presser foot lift. Other things are manual thread cutters. So we have the thread cutter up here by our, our bobbin. 
winder. We have a thread cutter on the side. We have a thread cutter underneath the throat. And then we have a thread cutter down by the bobbin, bobbin case, which allows us to cut our bobbin thread the perfect length. So since this machine is a five and a half millimeter stitch width, this machine does not have the built-in dual feed. But because it is a Bernina, it does have the Bernina adaptive thread tension. So that means as you're sewing along and the stitch is doing its thing, the needle's moving left to right and the feed dog's moving back and forth, the thread tension is constantly adjusting at every needle position or every needle penetration, the tension to give that perfect tension for every position that the needle's in to create a beautiful stitch on any fabric. So this machine, just like our 475 and 480, is BSR compatible. And all of our Bernina machines have a start-stop button, so we can sew without the foot pedal if you prefer by using the start-stop button and controlling your speed here. But also we can start and stop embroidery because this machine's capable. And this is how we can also turn on and turn off our stitch regulator. And like I mentioned, it has a slide speed control, which can regulate our maximum speed when using the foot pedal. And this machine does have the, which most of our machines do, have a upper thread indicator. So it's detecting the thread, the upper thread moving through the machine. So as soon as it runs out of thread, it will, you, it will detect it. And that is, that's especially helpful in embroidery where you're not really paying attention. But this machine does not have a bobbin thread sensor. So the first machine to have the bobbin thread sensor in the entire Brunia lineup is the 575. So this machine does have a USB port on the side. All of the Bernina 4 and 5 series and above have a USB port on the side. So on this machine, because it can embroider, we have that USB stick on the side so we can add designs. But also that USB port, just like on the, on the 4 series specifically, it's only used for updating the machine. And this machine can also be updated. And Bernina comes out with updates every once in a while. So this machine does have the Brunina presser foot. That's the one with the back kick. So that's the one we can press in the heel and it will lower and raise the needle. And with all of our Bernina machines, we all have the, we ha they all have the ability to stop with the needle in the down or the up position. And that's all controlled by here on the screen. So if we want the needle to stop in the down position, when we stop, we just select on the screen to have that needle stop down. The next thing is a bobbin winding while sewing or embroidering. So with all of our Bernina machines, we have a separate bobbin winder from the motor of the machine. So some brands and so some lower models, like some of our brunettes, for instance, when you push in to wind a bobbin, you can't sew, the machine won't power. And also when you push in, you have to press your foot pedal to power the machine or I mean, to power the bobbin winder. Here, as soon as we push the bobbin winder in, it will start winding a bobbin. And it shows up here on the screen and we can control the speed of that bobbin winder. That's one thing we don't have in the four series is we can't control the speed of a bobbin winder, but with the 575, we can start to do that. So especially if you work with more problematic or crazier threads. The next thing we have is on-screen help. That's the little help I, uh, button here on the black part of the screen. So when we click that, we can click anywhere on the screen and it will give us a description of what that icon does and what that icon is and how it can help us. And also it then has the setup screen. So that allows us to go into the settings and set up how our machine functions to better suit us. So we can change the settings of how that works. So that's it with the general information on the back of the brochure going over with the Bernina 535. In that regard, with a few different things, it's very similar to the, 570, the Bernina 570 and the Bernina 590 um, because a lot of those are mechanical functions that are the same across the board in each series. All right, give this video a thumbs up. If you found it informative, subscribe to the channel to see more videos and happy sewing.